Josh! How are you? Um, I'm Sarah Kaywood. Hopefully you know who I am. Look, I've done my hair in my Bjork knots today. I thought I'd channel my 90s and noughties self. Um, anyway, Bon has requested this memo to wish you a very happy 27th birthday. Happy birthday, lovely. Oh, you're a freelance painting artist from Essex. Whereabouts in Essex are you? I'm in Leon C. In fact, I'm in my office now. I can't open the blind. I've got estuary views because look what happens when I do that and you get all bleached out. So I have to keep this closed. But I I'm looking at the estuary right now. So I'd love to know where you are. Um, I'm not from Essex. I'm actually, uh, well, I, I was brought up in Peterborough and then I went to London. But I'm proper Essex now. I love it. It's amazing. Um, a freelance painting artist. I'm going to have to go and see if I can find you on the socials because if you paint, I don't know whether this is painting walls or painting murals or painting pictures, but I'm going to go and find out. Um, but 27, what an age. Seven's my lucky number, so I loved my 27th. Um, yeah, it was really, really, really lovely. And I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And um, Bon also says that um, you love hearing about... Um, me fighting off the Fathers for Justice people on the National Lottery because they showed that clip quite a lot on Channel 5. Can I just tell you, so a lot of people always say um, that Eamon was hiding behind me because it looks like he's cowering and he kind of was but what you can't see is like, okay, so here's the, here's, here's the lowdown. You're not allowed, we're not allowed to touch the lottery machines, the, the ball machines. You're not allowed to touch them. That's why they have Camelot bodyguards next to them. Because um, if they get touched or knocked, then that could, um, that could make that draw invalid. So the bouncers from Camelot that were next to the um, lottery machines basically took down the Fathers for Justice um, set, set invaders, took them down, and they're grappling on the floor. And if you look at the clip back, that's what Eamon's looking at. He's trying to get out of their way. So they're literally fighting. They're trying to get in control of him, fighting on the floor at his feet. So he sort of looks like he's cowering behind me. But I remember being furious because as I tried to keep the BBC One train rolling, um, this woman stepped in front of me and she blocked my shot. So I was, she was in my camera shot. I was like, I am not having this. This is going to be, I knew this was going to be on the news at 10. This is big stuff. We're live on air. She's stealing my thunder. I'm not having that. So I got hold of the back of her and I knew I couldn't say fuck off because obviously we were still live. So you can just hear me say, and you, yes, you get lost. And then I threw her off the stage. <laughs> Hardcore. And, um, and we were on news at 10. We were, it's funny, there was, I think, um, there, we were on all the news bulletins just for a day. But one of them says, because I heard, I heard them first come in the studio. And so I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking about, um, yes, um, uh, who's the announcer? Alan. Yes, Alan, we've got a double rollover tonight and I'm doing this. And then I heard this crash in the corner of the studio and I sort of looked and then I realised something was wrong. So I go back to the camera and start talking, like, just doing what I do, wind me up, let me go. And I was like, right, I must just stay the course. Don't care what's happening over there. And um, I remember the newscaster saying, watch presenter Sarah Kaywood's eyes. Because I was like, uh, Alan, it's a double... It's a double rollover tonight. There's 60 minutes... <laughs> it's like fucking hell. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do. But um, it's nice to be part of bloopers history. I quite like that. Um, and Camelot repaid my bravery and endeavours by getting rid of me and getting Jenny Faulkner in to do my job. <laughs> Basically, they had to take the lottery drawers and they had to put them somewhere secure after that. And I think generally when TV makes a change, um, they like to change everything up, so they like to change the presenter up as well. So, yes, unfortunately, yeah. Jenny got my job after that. <laughs> but um, it was amazing. I loved it. Uh, what a buzz. So I hope that that's a little bit of a tidbit for you. And because um, obviously you, you, you don't get to hear that, do you? Um, but yeah, I remember thinking, don't say fuck off. Don't say fuck off. Don't say fuck off. Go on, you get lost. <laughs> anyway, Josh, have a really wonderful birthday. I hope you love this memo. Um, thanks, Bon, for um, uh, asking for it. It's, it's lovely to do these because they're just so simple and I get to chat to you guys. It's, I sometimes wish that you were at the other end, like a mini Zoom, 
maybe that's the next app where you get to actually oh I think I think Emma Willis and Giovanna Fletcher do that I think they do this thing where they can surprise people by calling them up on FaceTime and other people pay for it to happen how lovely uh, anyway happy birthday darling um and thank you as I said to Bon and I hope you enjoyed this and yeah all the K would love Mwah.